I'm feeling my old high school obsession with Ariel the Little Mermaid coming back to me. I just got out of Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. And, uh, of course, it had the princesses in it, all of the uh, official ones. And they looked gorgeous. They, like, made them more my type than they already were. Amazing. I don't know how you do that. And Ariel especially. Ariel is always my favorite. But, gosh, she was gorgeous in this. <laughs> but, anyway... Um, I, yeah, I just got out of Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, and obviously I went in cosplay, and I didn't really think anybody was going to be in cosplay <laughs> tonight. Uh, it did get screenings yesterday, and plus you never know which movies people are going to go to in cosplay, because I'm not in with the Austin cosplay community. I would love to be, but I've found that that's a very hard thing to do. <laughs> Especially with my social anxiety and all that. But, uh, so yeah, I don't know what people are going to in, in what, you know, you know, with, where. So, there's so many theaters in Austin. I picked the village because it's the closest one, uh, to my apartment. And, uh, I don't know if it was the right crowd <laughs> to be in cosplay. I mean, I, all I got were a few smiles, but the... The, the staff loved it. And the staff always, they're always so nice and everything. And they, they, they love this kind of thing, so... I had fun. Uh, I had to go. So I actually even, you know, I've, I'm in between jobs right now. Uh, I've been uh, really trying to find something, but I, I'm totally broke. There were movies I wanted to see last month. You know, you didn't get any reviews for them <laughs> because of that. And uh, there are movies right now that I really want to go see. But I pawned a couple things to get this ticket because I knew I had this costume and it would have been a shame not to put it on and go see it. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm so glad I did. I don't regret it a bit. It was an amazing movie, and uh, honestly, I, I'm so pleasantly surprised. Not really surprised, but I, I wasn't totally sure that it wasn't just going to be internet reference movie and Disney reference movie. But And it had that stuff, but it was a really great movie. Um, it was a really great story about uh, friendship. It was really about uh, Vanellope. I'm not going to give spoilers, but it was about her sort of quest for... Her, to find out what her dream was uh, because she, you know, she liked her game, but she knew she wanted more. Um, and uh, about Ralph learning to be a great friend and not so needy and clingy and uh, to uh, to let go uh, when your friend is trying to pursue their dream. If you're standing in the way, you might have to let go of them uh, to some degree. And uh, and it was it was beautifully done. Uh, the way they, they things played out and uh, the animation was so gorgeous not just the princesses I mean there's a character that Gal Gadot plays a new character that I was so impressed with the animation on that and I mean computer animation is kind of at a point where it's like you know how could it get better but I was really impressed with that character's animation so yeah gorgeous movie um, and I'm, I'm glad I, I really liked that character too because I wasn't sure I was going to uh, I was nervous about a lot of things with this movie because I really liked the first one. Um, and this might have been better. It might have been better than... The, I, I, the only reason I don't... I, I'm pretty sure it was, but I haven't watched the first one in a while. I've got it. I love it. It's been a little while since I watched it. I think it's a more simple movie, a more simple plot, a more simple like uh, message. This one I, th I thought was heavier and in a good way. And then there's this awesome scene at the end that is so disturbing. I don't want to reveal anything, but it reminded me of Drac Bram Stoker's Dracula, where the rats are in the shape of Dracula. It's Dracula, and he's turned into like a bunch of rats. And <laughs> it reminded me of that, and it was so freaky. Uh, very cool, you know. Very interesting uh, visually and and plot wise and everything. And yes, there were a ton of references. Disney had all their stuff. They had Marvel. They had Star Wars. I don't know if they had the Muppets. There might have been something early on, and I might have missed it, and then I was like, oh, I need to, I need to see if there are any Muppets in here. Because, you know, it bugs me that they're so into pushing Marvel and uh, Star Wars, but the Muppets are awesome. They're they're classic. But they, they might have been in there for a little bit. But there was this scene uh, where C-3PO pops in. Which is great, but they had already referenced Star Wars a lot, and it was a perfect scene for Scooter from the Muppets. And I was a little disappointed they didn't use Scooter for that. But, <laughs> but then it, it's very, it would very much have only clicked for old school Muppet Show fans. But it, it, it would have been perfect. And that missing, you know, 
element because they they showed a lot of Marvel and and uh, and Star Wars too and all the Disney stuff. But so good, so funny. The the there's some stuff about Merida that is hilarious. <laughs> and and the princess stuff is just a small portion of the movie. And I mean they do come back to it. It's not like just super small, but it's it's not like. And I'm glad it wasn't the whole movie. It was just a, like, a, a, you know, a, a, I don't want to just call it a scene like like it's been called. It's a little more than a scene, but it, and it was so good. Loved it. <laughs> and it definitely sticks with you in this film. And uh, but, yeah, there's all kinds of references. I think some of them in the long run, I, some of them are going to be dated references. And I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that the movie won't be too dated in the long run. I'm hoping it's going to have more legs than that. Uh, it definitely, it has a strong story and the characters, the original characters are excellent. Um, all the, a lot of the, not the Disney references, but you know, some of the internet type stuff, it's a very much a movie about this time period. So I don't know, hopefully it'll become nostalgic. I don't know, <laughs> but it's, you know, it's about the internet right now, <laughs> but, uh, but it was so well done in that regard and everything. Uh, so fun. Such a great movie. Highly recommend this one um, very much. And I don't just say that because I'm a huge Disney fanatic. I mean, I kind of trashed Wrinkle in Time. I was not pleased with that one. I haven't seen Nutcracker yet. Not hearing great things. But I do hope that I get to see that one because my, my mom's here for Thanksgiving. And, you know, she and um, myself and my sister, we might all go see that one uh, soon. Uh, but, uh, yeah... <laughs> Because I'm still curious and I have to judge for myself. And a friend of mine really loved it. So, <laughs> But um, yeah, this one, this is one of those great ones. Like, this is as good as Pixar stuff and everything, you know. Uh, it's really fantastic. I highly recommend it. I love the characters. I love Vanellope. This movie makes you love Vanellope. Which, I mean, I mean a lot of people already did. But she's, she can be annoying too. In the like in the first movie, but in this movie you totally love an LP by the end of the movie, and uh, and Ralph, Ralph, is awesome. <laughs> Obviously, I love Ralph. Uh, fantastic movie. I hope I can find a job soon so I can get some merchandise while it's still out there. I need the Rock Candy Princesses <laughs> in their little like slumber party gear, and uh, uh, oh man, I need some kind of Ralph and Vanellope toys. I need them. But it was so good. Go see it. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, I'll probably be posting this on Thanksgiving. I don't know, but have a great one uh, Like comment subscribe. Hopefully I'll have some more reviews soon Hopefully I'll have money soon <laughs> I'll see you guys later